What are diastereomers? Well, hopefully by the end of this video, these molecules, and whether they're diastereomers or not, will be obvious. So first, a definition. Diastereomers, or diastereoisomers, they're possible when a molecule with multiple chiral centers has at least one, but not all, of the chiral centers rearranged. This does not produce a mirror image molecule, so they're not enantiomers. So change some chiral centers, but not all of them on your molecule, and you've made diastereomers. Let's start off with this simple example. There's two chiral carbons in the middle. Now I've just got to mess up one of the chiral centers. I've got to change it. And the easiest way to do that is swap any two of the groups on the chiral center. We have a pair of diastereoisomers. Of the two chiral centers, I've changed one, but not the other. Those are the two chiral carbons. Now what about the carbons at the top? They're not chiral. They only have three bonds. You need four for chiral. And what about the carbons at the bottom? There's four bonds on them, but with two hydrogens, mm -mm, there have to be four different branches. So they aren't chiral either. So let's go back to this tricky looking animation. The top two are the same. That's a trick. There is no word for molecules that are the same. They're just the same. Now looking at the two on the left, the bottom chiral carbon is the same, but I switched around the green and the blue to change the top chiral carbon. So yet yeah, those two are diastereomers. And what's the relationship of the top one to the bottom right one? Well, I switched around two at the bottom, so I changed the bottom chiral carbon, and I switched around two at the top, so I changed the top chiral carbon. So they can't be diastereomers. I changed all of the chiral carbons around, so that just makes them enantiomers. They are mirror images of each other. And we're done.